JP Morgan releasing its new 2024 mid-year outlook today. Here to help break it all down is Yahoo Finance's Josh Schaefer. I've alluded to this <laughs> a couple of times because it was Marco Kalanovich, um, one of the few bears who remains on yes. Wall Street. Yes, Marco holds a 4,200 call on the S&P 500, which would be an over 20% fall from where we are now. They haven't moved their target, which I think is notable. And a lot of times I think you do see this, Julie, where you have a very low target. I don't think he's that tempted to chase exactly where the market's going to fall. So like 4,200 to me is a little bit arbitrary when it comes to that. But essentially, JPM saying here similar things they've been saying since the start of the year, which is you have frothy sentiment, you have valuations that are high, they don't feel great about that sort of dynamic in the market right now. And so I kind of took that note and then I broadened it out to what other strategists are saying too and kind of created three risks that people are watching heading into the second half of the year because we kind of went up in more or less a straight line to start the year. And one thing that a lot of folks are talking about right now is the labor market. And I think that's going to be a continued focus going into the second half of the year and specifically if we see any kind of a downturn. And that goes with Labor market downturn would equal economic weakness. Citi's economics team still has a recession call. Mm. Scott Cronert mentioned that in his note today. He's their equity strategist, but he said, well, if my team's still sitting on a recession call, maybe we do get a pullback in stocks. Their call is 5,600 in the S&P, but at some point, maybe that, there's a little bit of a push-pull there when it comes to the labor market. And then as far as sentiment goes, Citi uses this thing called the Levkovich Index to look at whether we're in a period of euphoria or a period of panic when it comes to sort of stock market, um, different aspects of the market. You can see here, we just barely got into euphoria over the last couple months. Mm -hmm. And so you could call sentiment frothy, but kind of one of the other takeaways from this chart is you can see how long sentiment can be frothy. If you look at the 2000s period there, we were well above that light blue line for a long time. We well, were above there for a little in bit the, in It's still in the bounds, it looks like, yeah, in, in I mean, that chart. It's a little bit above it, if we really zoomed yeah. in. But yes, it's not out of control. And, it, and by the way, that, that index named for late strategist Tobias yes. Lefkovich, mm -hmm. who was a wonderful person to talk to about the markets. Um, and it's great that they have that index yes. that is named for him. A final thing, Josh. Yeah. Yes. We were talking about pullbacks, and I think it's just important to understand that we haven't had a real pullback yet this year. We had a 5% pullback in April, but when you look long term, the average is closer to about 14% over the last 40 years for the S&P 500. Keith Lerner over at Truist highlighted this a while back, and we've sort of just been updating that chart. And I think the takeaway here being you almost should expect more of a pullback at some point. It wouldn't be abnormal at all. The way the stock market went up actually for the first six months this year is probably more abnormal. Mm. And so as you think about things you guys have been talking about today with the election and potential volatility maybe coming into the market, remember the VIX is near historic lows. Our Jerry Blickery talks about it most days and it hasn't moved all that much. So if that starts to play in a little bit more, maybe that's when you finally see stocks stop going up seemingly every day. Yeah. You know what I liked about this note, too? They talked about the election and the debate. And obviously, they published before the debate, and they, and they told their clients, you know, that could, it could really clarify, talking about the debate, the key policy platforms the candidates. I don't know, I don't know policy. It clarified really something, I guess. I don't Optics, know. Or, visuals. Yeah. I don't know policy. Yeah. Maybe they'll revisit that one. Joshua, thank you. Appreciate that.